What's going on, Lee Jim Beast? Matty Ice here, Leech for Locals. Wanted to do a quick training video for you guys showing you step by step how to quickly and e very easily create text based Facebook video ads uh, inside of Canva. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be for Facebook ads. Uh, just any, if, if you are wanting to implement video in your business, advertising, etc., maybe you don't want to be on camera, you don't want to hire a videographer and worry about all the like really professional looking videos and stuff like that. This is a really good alternative to at least get you started. And um, when I say that, I'm not diminishing how powerful this this stuff can be. These types of videos can work really well. Uh, but I'm just saying it's a it's a very easy introduction to uh, implementing video into your business. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this. It's actually really easy to do. And uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, an example of my most recent text based video ad. So you can kind of get some ideas about how this works and then I'll recreate it inside of Canva for you. So uh, my only ask uh, if you guys find the hip, uh, video helpful, just hit that like button for me. It really helps. And also make sure you check out the links in the description. I'm going to have additional training on Facebook ads uh, where I break down my entire Facebook ad strategy from start to finish um, exactly what I do for clients. Uh, to uh, generate lots and lots of leads. So uh, if you're interested in that, make sure you check it out. All right, uh, the first thing I wanna do is show you the text-based video campaign that I created recently. And I was uh, inspired to create this when I was watching The Big Short uh, about the 2008 financial crisis. And uh, at the if you remember at the very end, uh, it has the text showing up, kind of it, it kind of fades into the screen. It's like a black background, but then the, the text shows up and it kind of it, it summarizes what happened in 2008 and how they're repeating the same process. And in the background, you can hear like a construction site. And it, there's just something about that that was really captivating and uh, just makes you want to watch it until the end. Right. So I was like, yeah, that would actually that would probably create a pretty cool uh, Facebook ad. So we I tested it and, and it got great engagement. So. Uh, let me let me play this for you really quick. I'm not going to play the whole thing. It's only 59 seconds, but um, I just want to give you an idea of what this uh, how this works. Hopefully, you guys can hear the construction site in the background. idea was just to get people kind of thinking about it because a lot of the times people don't think they have the budget for life insurance yet they're spending we, we spend lots of money on all these other discretionary items so we're just we're I'm just trying to get people to think about that and then this is where I guess I am gonna play the whole thing because uh, I mean it's not very long anyways uh, and then we get into our call to action that's it you know pretty pretty simple nothing crazy and uh, so obviously this was for life insurance. We were offering a free life insurance guide and you know these types of Campaigns these types of ads is just a good way to mix up the different types of creatives in your marketing So instead of just doing you know uh, images and stuff like that You know mixing in some some video that you know, it's just a black background with some text and a little bit of uh, Background sound that's it. You know nothing crazy. Uh, it's just a, a good way to you know, especially if you've been um, doing ads for a while It's a good way to refresh the uh, your audience With new ad creative so you know, and uh, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll talk briefly about like uh, the actual copy uh, and, and yeah, the copy for the, the ad um, I don't really have necessarily a magic formula when it comes to this kind of stuff um, I, I mean, I do follow a formula, but you know, it's like I, I you, you got to know who your audience is. Obviously, what what is the offer? Uh, uh, not the offer. I'm sorry. What is the problem in this particular case? The problem is that uh, people, you know, they're they're spending money on all these other discretionary items, but they're forgetting one of the most important things to protect, and that's their loved ones in case something were to happen to them. Right. So that's the problem. The solution is uh, is life insurance. Uh, for protecting your loved ones and then the offer is the free guide so I kind of condense that all into 59 seconds here so you know it's just uh, it really comes down to knowing your audience um, what their what the main problem is that you're trying to solve and you know how can you uh, instead of just offering the free life insurance guide in this case what's a little bit of a story that you can tell that would allow you to create this type of video right 
So just a little bit on on like uh, creating the actual text for it. But let's actually create the ad itself, the video ad itself. So let's uh, let's start from scratch. All right, we're in Canva. I would recommend just getting Canva Pro, guys. It's only twelve or thirteen bucks a month. Uh, I'll have a link in the description, uh, affiliate link, if you want to support the channel. It's up to you. Not a big deal. But the uh, the the Pro version just gives you access to a lot more assets, a lot more stock videos, photos, audio, all that stuff. So I think it's worth it. Um, your call, though. All right, uh, create a design, and we're gonna type in Facebook video. It also gives you access to a lot more templates too. Uh, uh, Canva has some fantastic templates. Uh, but we're gonna do we're gonna select. Facebook video here, it already gives, uh, it already sizes it to what it needs to be. So it's a 1080 by 1080. And the first thing is change the background color. All right, we're going to click on it. And right here, background color, we're just going to choose black. And you can choose whatever color you want. I'm just recreating the example I showed you, right? And uh, you guys are going to see how, how quick this is. Like, this is so easy to do. All right, next, let's put our text on here. So we're going to click text. Add a heading. You could change the font if you want and the size, the, the, the color of the font if you want. I'm just going to keep it simple right now and, and do black and white here. I'm going to do white text. And you're just going to type your text in. I think, uh, let's see, average, uh, monthly budget for coffee. It's, uh, I don't know, 100 bucks. Maybe it's a lot more for some of you guys. I don't drink coffee, so it's not an issue for me. But I know people do love their coffee, and I get it. No, no judgment for me. All right, and then uh, we can reposition the text here just to center it. All right, and the other thing we want to do is you'll notice uh, like it, it kind of fade, like some of the text fades in and out as the uh, as it transitions into the next scene. So to do that, you're going to select the text, and we're going to click on animate. And I think I just used fade, and uh, but you can control the speed of it. I, I think I just I slowed it way down just to for a little more dramatic emphasis, I guess. Uh, just to make it a little more dramatic. Um, but, you know, feel free to play around with all these animations. They have some really cool stuff here. All right. Now, the other thing we want to do is maybe adjust the time frame of the scene. So it's only five seconds right now. When you're doing a text-based video ad, obviously, you want to make sure that you're giving people enough time to read what is on the screen. Otherwise, what's the point? So uh, to do that, what we're going to do is you can either select the background or just click on the scene here. And right here, we see the timer. We're going to do edit timing, and we can increase that timing to, uh, I think the majority of my scenes were six seconds. Some of them were seven or eight seconds uh, if they had more text on it, just to give people more time uh, to read it. All right. And that's, that's pretty much it for creating the scenes. At this point, what you can do is click the three dots here, duplicate the page. And at this point, all you're doing is changing the text and then maybe adding a couple of extra seconds to the scene if there's more text on this one. So maybe we'll do this one for eight seconds, right? So you're gonna adjust the text here. Then you're gonna, um, uh, and you'll see here, uh, it still has that fade animation and uh, we can click on it just to make sure, you know, it's the right one. It's got the speed that we want, all right? And you're just gonna keep creating your scenes until you're done with the video, that's it, right? So uh, it's a good idea, like what I did is, um, I just, I wrote, I started writing out the copy for the video uh, ahead of time and then I just put it in but uh, you, you can do it however you want now uh, let's add the audio all right so let's scroll down on the sidebar here and we're gonna click audio and what I did is because I wanted to recreate what I watched in the, the big short that ending that that final scene so I just put uh, construction sounds or construction noise whatever construction site and you could preview the audio here so let's click this and you can hear it, if it's what you want, click on it, and it's gonna add the audio to the most recent scene. So you wanna make sure that you drag this over here. So obviously the audio is on the, uh, the, the entire video. Now, I mean, obviously you don't have to do construction site. There's, I mean, they have so many, so, so many different options for audio. You know, if you wanna do an actual song, whatever. And you can also search by different types of audio as well. Uh, vocals, instrumentals, effects, etc. So lots of different options, but that's how you add it. Uh, so we'll click here. Um, you do want to make sure it's not too loud, obviously. Uh, so and there's um, audio effects here. I, I, I don't really mess with this too much, but you can adjust it as well. I mean, we kind of already did that, but the sound, uh, I'm sorry, the volume, 
you know, you definitely want to make sure it's not, not too loud. So we're going to uh, take this down a little bit. And to uh, preview it, so we go back to the beginning here. Up here at the top, we're going to click this button here. And you can preview it. Sounds good. Great. If not, you can adjust it from there. There you go. So that's how you preview the, the video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Up here at the top, go ahead and give it a name so you stay organized. And then uh, to share it, so you can either download it. So let me get uh, myself over. We can download it here. Just make sure the file type is an MP4. Just click download and you put it in your ads manager. You put it on your website, wherever, wherever it is that you're going to use it. All right. Uh, you can also share this as a template link, which is what I do in my marketing agency. I actually uh, create these and then I put them in a members area for my clients to where uh, they can download them and then just put it into their ads manager, click publish, and they're good to go. Saves them a ton of money having to hire an agency. Uh, it saves me a lot of time as well, not having to create campaigns for every single client. It's just like, you know, here's the campaign already pre-made for you. Uh, I give them a template link to it and they can adjust it if they want. What, you know, they can do whatever they want to it. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good system. So we'll click more. And then right here where it says template link, you can copy it and then send it to your clients or, or whoever, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. I, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, that's There's not much more to it than that. Uh, at that point, you download it, put it in your ads manager. You know, obviously, you need to write your ad copy, do your targeting. I, I covered all of that in uh, my other trainings. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, if you guys have questions, you get stuck on anything, uh, just drop some comments down below. Leave some feedback. Uh, if you have requests for specific videos, let me know. Uh, either way, hope you guys are crushing it, and I'll talk to you in the next one. To your success, Matty Ice is out.